This is Nicholas um, on film and on YouTube. And right now I am reviewing Alexander Payne's um, The Holdovers, starring um, Paul Giamatti and then a new rising actor, Dominique Sessa. Um, I did not watch the trailer for this movie and I will begin explaining how I felt about um, watching this movie from a director that I've seen quite a few of his movies over the years and enjoyed quite a few of them. My favorite thing about the movie was um, how unexpected um, a lot of the plot was. Um, personally, uh, this this time around, I for went or gone for went. I don't know how do you say it. Um, watching the movie trailer um, because you know these days it's just like. You kind of know what if you like the movie or not. There's so many movies coming out, and if you know like who's involved behind the scenes and a couple of main actors, um, and the basic plot line of the story, um, even you don't even have to know that, and you kind of have a pretty good judgment. At least I do, for um, whether you'll be interested or not. And then on top of that, you know, not watching the spoiler-filled trailers that they tend to saturate the internet with these days um, allows me to watch the movie and be surprised at bits so um, yeah this was maximum enjoyment in terms of that factor I was very glad that I went in fresh and I came out um, like I was cleansed you know like a just thorough um, classic movie going experience there was a lot of heart in the movie and um, the, um, what Alexander Payne does best is that he just the like 90 to 95 percent of the moments just totally ring true. Um, even when characters are going into monologues and maybe when they get into these like serious modes, um, just then just as much as any moment where it's funny um, is comes from a real place. And um, you feel like these characters are kind of, I don't know, it's about spilling their guts, but they're opening up in a way that like real people would do in those situations and not just like as a way of furthering the plot um, to get you uh, to the credits and get you the, or get you the concession stands and buy some more food. Um, so, I mean, it felt like on a real authentic movie and um, those emotional beats were, uh, they catch you off guard, um, especially if you hadn't seen one of his movies in a while and they're very rewarding to go through and it made, made it a very memorable movie experience. And I'm glad that it's my first uh, review here. Some of my favorite moments in the movie, um, I mean, obviously there's like, I watched the trailer afterwards and I, I didn't really like the trailer so much. I don't know how it would have felt if I'd seen it first. I'm pretty much assuming that it probably would have spoiled the movie quite a bit just from what I saw there, which is generally what trailers do these days in movies. Um, but uh, some of my favorite bits were, I mean, obviously I like snow stuff. So there's a lot of snow scenes. <laughs> and there's a lot of yelling and screaming in the snow. It's like yelling out into the barren wasteland. So I love that kind of stuff. Um, I, I really like the twists and turns as the movie went along. Um, there were a couple moments where it kind of got a little heavy handed, but I mean, I'm pretty sure in real life it probably would have been even more so considering some of the situations, um, or things that happened to these characters. So in terms of keeping it somewhat light, I'm glad that they did that just for the enjoyment factor, but I do like that they acknowledge that these are serious things that are happening to real people or people that are supposed to be real, feel real. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I didn't really mention a favorite scene, but uh, I kind of just like the last half of the movie because it just kind of was just one big surprise after the other and um, kind of did that whole build up. And, and then um, the conclusion just kind of, I could tell people in the audience were just like, they had, it had their, uh, the movie had its tendrils wrapped all around them and the, the way they introduce the credits you know I always love that the artistic directors how they can just bring the credits up in 
such a way that it doesn't snap you out of the experience, but it kind of it kind of makes your eyes water a little bit if the movie's really good because it's like, oh, it's over, but it's not like, bam, over, because that's what a great movie is. So it kind of it lulls you in and it lulls you out. So I, I, I like that about the movie. So maybe that's my favorite, one of my favorite parts. Um, the the there's a one of the main characters is a younger actor. Um, he seems to be playing younger than he is. But I um, personally um, made that was one of my strongest connections in the movie. I've seen Paul Giamatti in lots of stuff, and I find it interesting when seeing a new actor. You know, I mean. Obviously, someone, if they're really good, can't be new forever. But uh, it's interesting seeing someone with skills and starting out. And um, especially this character, this was a meaty role. And there was lots of layers. And um, on the road trip type journeys of the movie, they go to some really interesting places. And you find out some interesting things. And there's lots of like little monologues that um, reveal these people more and more. But then there's lots of really funny situations. So um, concerning this this act, this character and um, his relationship with his family and why they're leaving him here and how he doesn't like that and how he's trying to be happy but at the same time afraid of something they're hanging over his head. Um, and then, you know, dealing with the even worse type stuff concerning like his original father um, and then they even go there. Um, they go to those places in the movie because they happen to find themselves in situations that present that opportunity. And then the consequences and repercussions of that, um, that's all what's leading up to the finale. Um, I found all that um, really interesting and I enjoyed the casting. And um, I probably mentioned it, but I would definitely enjoy watching more movies from these newer actors and I'm really happy that um, Paul Giamatti and, and his relationship with Alexander Payne because they've knocked it out of the park before um, is, is flourishing and I hope that they continue to work together and surprise us me, you, everyone more in the future and hopefully everyone and lots of people can watch it. We need the audiences to show up or to purchase them or to stream them or whatever. There's a funny scene where they go, they wind up, they're in a restaurant and then um, they recognize the waitress. She's actually one of the faculty at the school and uh, the guy meets her and he, he's kind of a single guy and he claims that he enjoys being single, but the, the boy that he's with kind of has suspicions that um, it might not necessarily be because he wants to be and you kind of find out these reasons why he might be single and it's the movie does a good job of saying oh well maybe he can overcome those things you know one bit at a time not that he does in the course of the movie but you know he he starts to make the effort and you know those first steps are the most important a lot of the time um but yeah they're in the restaurant um there's quite a few restaurant scenes but I don't know there's one where he's gonna go play pinball and um, he runs into these like uh, military guys and uh, the situation kind of just gets worse and worse for him and if it wasn't for the teachers um, saving graces you know he kind of bails the kid out and then um, they go back outside and um, that reminds me that's a scene to go on a tangent is the the, the period piece aspect of the movie um, they did a really great job of um, capturing that. The, I can't think it was like the early 70s or so. And um, the cars, um, there's like a feel, you know, there's no internet back then and people are more face-to-face, -face, um, interaction-based. So I really liked that part of the movie. So those are those bits like in the restaurant there, they, when they, whenever they step outside and you see the world around them, and it's like it's not flashy and not a lot of cuts and you kind of just get to sink in like oh this is what it was like and you know some of us have were born then i was born after but you get a feel from it from like movies if you're like me you watch a lot of movies and this one seemed to do a really good job of uh 
um, capturing a, that certain period. So that would be my review of The Holdovers, directed by great Alexander Payne, um, director of Election with Matthew Broderick. I still must catch that one. I think Reese Witherspoon's in it too. Uh, from the movies that I've seen, you know, Sideways is the big one. I think he had one in between there. I can't wait to call. I mean, and couldn't believe that he would take that long of a break at that point in his career. Um, about Schmidt, one of those movies that you don't think you'll want to watch, and then when you do, you're just, I mean, it's basically every Alexander Payne movie for some reason. Um, then uh, The Descendants, I guess George Clooney, some other cast members, I hear good things about that one. And then now uh, The Holdovers. So um, until next time, over and out, Nicholas.